Hey there everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a basic table in one point perspective. First step in any perspective drawing is always making your vanishing point. For this example, I'm going to keep it rather high up and towards the center. That way it gives me more room to make additional tables or other furniture. I'll put it right there. Remember, never make your vanishing point too large because your converging lines all have to meet up there. If it's really big, it could potentially be meeting up in different spots. Okay. Now, if we take a look at this basic table, what you can see is the shape, the front of it, the face that we see closest to us is basically an upside down U. Okay. A hard edged U. There's not curves or anything involved, but it's essentially a U. So when you're drawing it, always think about the shape that you see that's closest to you. So I'm going to, again, as you know, I'll start on this side today. I like to um, kind of freehand really quickly an idea of the shape because sometimes I find that rulers get in the way, but never, ever, ever um, rely on just the freehand. I'm just quickly sketching out an idea of what I want. Okay, basic U. Then I go back in with my ruler and define those straight lines as they should be. We want to make sure that the top, or not the top, the bottoms line up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this here and here. I notice I made this a little bit narrower than this and I want to kind of make sure it's more equal. So I'm going to shave off a little piece of that again to make that more equal. Now that I have my upside down U, I'm going to start drawing my converging lines towards the vanishing point. As you know, I always like to start at the closest corners. I line up my corner, going all the way back, touching that vanishing point. Line up my next corner. Now, some people might think that's all that we need, but we are going to see a little bit back here um, to show a little depth of that uh, table leg. So I'm going to draw now in this case, as we've learned, we don't ever draw through the shape. So what I'm going to do is once I hit the front face of that, that table, the shape of the table, I'm stopping, but it's still going to the vanishing point. That's really important. All right. Now I determine my cutoffs. Cutoffs are always parallel to your original edge, depending on how long you want your table. If it's like a coffee table or a dining room table, you might want it to be rather long. If it's just a little um, end table, it doesn't have to be that long. So maybe I'll make it kind of like an end table. Perp oh, not perpendicular, parallel to my original edge. So this is straight up and down. My cutoff is straight up and down. Okay. Where that intersects, I'm basically following the shape of the face of the table. So it went up and down. Now it's going right to left. I line it up horizontal line and I draw my cutoff. I'm done with cutoffs for this case. It's still not done though. I will erase these since I don't really need them. Now, again, if you're drawing lightly, these will erase much more easily. So now we have um, the table kind of going all the way back, all the way back, but we don't have those legs. Okay, we want to see some table legs. So what we're going to do is basically create more cutoffs here 
Again, vertical, however wide you want that table leg to be. Usually they're rather um, square. So I'm gonna kind of keep it similar. It's this much wide. So I'm gonna kind of keep it that much deep, parallel. And then I draw that and I erase. And this here, I'll just make it a little bit darker so you can see that. Same idea. Now you want to maintain the same sizing. You can try and eyeball it, but you can also use your tools. If I line it up right here, do it that way, I can mark right there and that's where it would be. It gets a lot kind of um, skinnier the closer to the under the vanishing point it is. So you might get a little confused, um, but that's why that happens, okay? Because it's kind of getting squished. I draw a guideline. Now we understand, again, I'm going to use my tools. I'm going to draw a point here on the corner. That's corresponding to this line here because that should be the same on this side. So I'm going to draw a guide. I don't have to put it the line all the way here. I'm just going to do a light line here where that kind of cutoff intersects. Again, I'm going to have to darken my lines again because my eraser is a little on the thick side. Um, now I have that there. Okay. Same idea here. I'm going to have to have some sort of depth there. It won't be as long. I draw the line going up. Oh, that's really skinny. Hold on a second. I don't need to be that skinny. Whoopsies. My ruler. Let's try that again. Okay, that makes a little more sense. It's going to go horizontally. Actually, I should also, everything corresponds. So I should know what the width is based on this. So instead of kind of trying to figure it out, I'm going to just draw a light line here. That point right there is where it's going to meet, and then it's going to go back up, okay? You should be using a ruler, but I just want you to see it, and the ruler is kind of taking that away from us. Now I'm going to darken my lines. Even when I'm darkening the angle, I'm still making sure it's hitting that vanishing point. I'm not making any sort of mistakes. And this goes up here, making sure the vanishing point's still being utilized. This is where I need to start. I'm gonna just put my pencil right there and then it's gonna end right there. And now we have a table, okay? Try it on either end. Um, if it's right directly below the vanishing point, everyone, you're not gonna see as much information because um, you're not gonna see the angles here, okay? Good luck.